Good morning. I'm gonna do a vlog for today. This is my first vlog, it's my first attempt, okay? So don't tell me that it's bad. Well, actually, you can tell me if it's bad, but just say it nicely. I don't know why I decided to start this clip when I'm looking like this. I cut my own fringe, and now it's really flicking all over the shop, and I don't really know what to do about that, but I tied it up to have a shower, and it's just so grim at the minute. I feel like I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like, I literally like hoofed it up, and I just thought, you need to stay up there because you look so bad. And I also look like Lord Farquaad. It's a lot to take in at once. Anyway, I thought you could join me for today because I've got a few different things going on. This is quite an in... I don't think it's interesting in the grand scheme of life, but for me, it's quite interesting because there's a few moving parts. So today, these are some things that have to happen. I need to go to Argos to pick up um, my boyfriend's Valentine's present. Can I tell you what it is? I don't know if I can. Actually, he wouldn't... he's not going to watch my YouTube video. Basically, okay, romance might be dead because I've got him because he's been banging on about getting one for the longest time. I did get the cheapest one though, because some of them are like 200 quid and I was like, I don't love you that much. So it might be that he opens it and he's like, cheapskate and I'm gonna be like, yeah, babe. Start with me showing you my outfit. Oh, so basically I'm really bad at putting clothes away. So uh, there's piles of clothes everywhere because I need to just sort it out. I filmed a whole video yesterday like showing an outfit and I realized I had a pair of pants just on the floor in the background and I tried to crop it so you couldn't see the pants, but then this, it didn't make any sense because I'm like talking about the jeans, but like I've cropped it so you can only see like up to like my midriff. And I was like, this is really embarrassing. I was like, if you just put your pants away, then you wouldn't be in this situation. Anyway, the pants are still in position, so I still can't show you from the angle. Maybe I'll put you, no, that's where the pants are. Okay. I'll put you here. So I got these jeans from Levi. They're the men's jeans. I absolutely love them. Sorry, me from the future. Um, those jeans are horrible. Okay, my phone was getting bored of listening to me talk about my outfit. I've also just got a thermal top on. And I've just accessorised with a little bit of porridge. I just sometimes randomly get obsessed with eBay, but like for literally like two hours and then I'm done. And I just really wanted loads of Ralph Lauren stuff. I don't know why. Now I'm in my designer era. I got this for like 12 pounds, but then I saw this and I was like, oh my God. And I just love anything that's bright and a bit offensive. Kind of replaces that big red jumper. You know that big, red fleece that I always wear, um, the one that my boyfriend said we're never allowed to wash. Um, I thought maybe I'll get one that I can wash. So this is my new fleece. Okay, sorry, you can probably see all the bogeys from my cold at this angle, but whatever. So I've just started driving. I don't know where I'm going. Holly, you need to learn to use your brain, babe. And we're out, bitches, see ya. Naturally, I didn't actually put in to my maps like what Argos I was going to. I just put Argos in Stretton. But luckily it turned out it's the right one. This never happens to me. I'm always going to the wrong place. It's a good day to a good day. I feel like during these vlogs, you'll see more and more of my like ADHD tendencies. Like, I feel like it's so much more obvious when I'm like trying to do normal things. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna sneak this into the house that we both live in, but I'm gonna give it a good go. Now we need to go and try and find some decorations and do this Galentine's with my brother. That sentence sounds weird, but whatever. The problem was none of my friends were free. They were all busy doing shit. So my brother was the only one that had it on option. Also, this is my longest relationship I've ever been in at the age of 28. I think we've been together like just uh, maybe two and a half years, which to me still seems wild. Like how someone has put up with me for that long, I really don't know. And I don't mean that in like the quirky, like, oh my God, how can you put up with me? Like. I genuinely think it is quite hard work, you know? Rory is so normal, like, I am so hectic and a mixture between being anxious, being very, having very, like, tendencies to be very hot and very cold and just a bit all over the shop. Like, I don't know what I've done to manage to acquire him, but I really hope he never realises he really could do so much better. Cross the road then. Sorry, that's rude. I need to not put myself down. I'm a catch, you know? I might have a greasy fringe. I might have bought an air fryer for Valentine's Day. And I might not always do, you know, my share of loading the dishwasher. But other than that, he's pretty lucky. Another thing is I need to train Rory at writing good Valentine's cards. Like he puts two as well. He puts two Holly rather than dear Holly. I'm like, two? Is this a CV? Like, is this a cover letter or is this you? you know, confessing your undying love for your gorgeous girlfriend. Yeah, just hasn't got much to say. 
Now I'm going to Aldi, but I don't know whether to treat you guys and take you to the biggest Tesco's in London because I am walking distance from it and I almost feel like it would be cruel of me to not take you there because big Tesco's is just is such a big part of my heart. I feel like I should take you. I'm also trying to save money, but maybe for you, I'll take you to big Tesco's. God, I'm really not very interested. <laughs> I love these kind of trolleys, these ones that you can push like that. But I feel like these are the perfect, these are like, when you're in your early 20s, you only need a basket at all times, right? When you're in your late 20s, you're not quite at the trolley level, like trolleys feels like 32 plus. These are the perfect medium. These are the late 20s trolleys, you know what I mean? to mention as well the bits i'm collecting here is i'm making a love potion with my brother so i feel like i don't need it i've already got love but he needs it so i'm gonna help him make a love potion and see if it brings him any good luck i mean not that he really needs it because he's going traveling so i feel like i don't think love first thing on his mind um oh, i've lost my car again this is something i do every single time i go anywhere this doesn't even look right because no cars are parallel parked but am i in the right car park I need to go down the floor. I might batch create this love potion and give it to my friends because most of them, most of them are single and I really want some more of my friends to have boyfriends so that we can go on double dates. I think that'll be really fun. So I'm just going to put these items down and then, like I promised, we're going to go to the biggest Tesco's in London. So fun fact, but actually a bit more of a grim fact. When I first met Rory, he lived in Streatham. So I would go to this big Tesco's we're coming up to all the time. So when I used to say his house, right, his bathroom was actually in his room. So he had the top floor, he had like the attic, right? And there was a toilet, a bath and a sink, but there was no like door or anything that separated it. They were just chilling in one half of the room and his bed was chilling in the other half of the room. But on the toilet, like there was nothing that was breaking up the barrier of the sound. You couldn't really see each other from the toilet and the bed, but you knew that you were there, right? So to not go into too much detail, I used to find it quite hard to go to the toilet, right? So do you know the amount of times I've come to this big Tesco's just to, just to do what, I'm sure you can put together what I was doing. I think this is the Tesco's I've done the most shits in. There you go, I'm not sure why I'm sharing that information. <laughs> it's too late now. I've always had this problem with my, like former boyfriend from when I was like 23, I had the same thing. I used to always have to go in Subway. My, what I would do is I'd order Subway and I'd be like, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna go to the toilet. I thought they definitely know that I'm just in here to do a shit. Once, me and this boyfriend, we'd already had plans to have dinner. So I didn't actually want a Subway because I was literally about to have dinner. So I went in there, I bought a Subway and then I just chucked it away because otherwise the boyfriend would have been like, why have you got a Subway when we're having dinner? I'd have to explain it's just so I can do a shit. So. I had to um, had to just throw it away. I literally walked out the subway, went onto the bin and just put it in the bin. And I was like, that was really embarrassing. Okay. We're now in the biggest Tesco, so are you excited? This is turning into such a good day. I've just realized, obviously here they've got the spicy bean wraps. They've only got these in London stores. I can't get them where I live. I'm on cloud nine. Right, I need to concentrate on the love potion. I'm getting distracted. I just tried to video myself, but it's really obvious. Now I'm pretending I'm researching something on my phone. It's making me sweat trying to film like this. I'm just, I'm not a good YouTuber. I'm honestly looking at something I don't even need. I'm in mean, like the, the natural set, the setting. Like I don't need Nutri-Blend green hemp protein powder. I just need something to make a love potion. I'm getting so distracted because it's such a big store. I need to focus. I'm on the escalator. I'm going up. Look how big it is. <gasps> this is so cool. Honestly, where else could you buy tampons one minute and then a six person tent the next? This place is just a dream. Okay, sorry, I had to concentrate when I was in there because I was getting so distracted by everything. But I've got the goods. I've got the stuff to make the video. I also forgot to tell Rory that I was leaving. And he just called me like, where the hell are you? And I was like, sorry, babe, gotta go. I've also realized, I don't think I've filmed any like B-roll. Like it's just me chatting at you. So I need to try and work out how I can fit some B-roll into the situation. Sometimes if I want to humble myself, I just go through some of the comments that I have to approve on my TikTok. So if someone leaves me like a particularly nasty comment, um, I, th I don't know what TikTok does, but it basically hides it for me and I have to approve it. So today's ones that I got, 
was I got this, I got you're the problem and I got you're a shit friend. Which actually for today, that isn't that bad. Normally I'm getting ones, I got one that actually quite stuck with me and someone said, when the way that you talk or your mouth looks like you're chewing tobacco. And now I've thought, oh God, is it because I know my like, my smile's a bit wonky. Is that why like I'm chewing tobacco? That one stuck with me. But today, no real bad ones, just that I'm a shit friend and I can take that, you know? Also, the reason I was a shit friend is because I made a video being like, you finally must up the courage to reply to everyone and that you've like left in your WhatsApps for like a few days. So you just haven't got the energy and you do it and you're like, oh, and you're like, oh because one replies straight away and you're like, no, babe, you need to now take a few days. Then you reply. We cannot be in this back and throw. You know, it's like a tennis match. I don't want to be in this tennis match. Wait a bit chill out let's have a break then you can serve and then i'll see if i'm gonna you know hit it back someone's commented saying you're a shit friend and can i just say i think this is more about them than it does me i think you sometimes get these friends like i would do anything for my friends i'm such a people pleaser anyway i just want people to be happy but you do get those kinds of people that expect you to just give them everything and i don't actually the reason i think i can be quite a good friend is i don't expect that much from my friends no that's not right i don't over expect from my friends you know like my birthday I'm not gonna be bothered if they can definitely make it or not you know my birthday is my birthday it's not really anyone else's problem it's very much just me problem and i also think if my friend doesn't message me for a bit i think they're probably going through some things or they're probably like really busy like and it's just overwhelming like i just feel like some friends are in and they're like you should be here you should be doing this with me rah rah and i think as you get older you think like it's just not realistic like we're not teenagers anymore you can't be available every second you just can't and, and i don't think it makes you a shit friend that you're not so readily available that you're putting your own brain after everyone else's i've really rambled there sorry i don't know if that makes sense some of you are probably thinking no you are just a shit friend that's fine you can think that okay sorry guys i got distracted because i've met up with this bozo head but look at this view this is near where i live <laughs> Look at this wall. Look at this. Why is that funny? Look at that. Oh, sorry. This is the background. Sorry. There's someone right behind, so I can't really show you the view. Okay, let me try and show you this way. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. There's the birds, the, the bridge. I love walking over the bridge. You've been to Audi. We've been to the biggest Tesco's in London. That is the biggest Tesco's in London, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. You told me that. I'm not, I'm no, you told me that. Distant. No, you, you, no, I didn't. You told me. Oh, okay, so that might have been fake news, I'm not sure. And I was saying earlier about how I'd always have to go to the toilet in there because I couldn't go at your house. Oh. <laughs> Did you get me the present from that? No. Have you filmed what you got me? Yeah, you can know. You what, me, no. Can you tell me what she got? You know what Rory's getting for Valentine's Day, but he doesn't. Back till next week, so you have to not watch. That's good, because that means I can just talk about Rory and he won't know. of our lives. <laughs> Boy, I think this is embarrassing me like setting up a scene, but I need B-Real. Is that good? Don't mind me just putting on yet another wash all by myself. I mean, the bins you no, take out no one else helps me when it comes to the washing. It's just because I'm a girl. I How did those bins them. empty themselves? Does that just happen by magic? I think so, yeah. Who, who's um, put your wrap on the toaster as well? No, I don't know. Can you hear Can you hear like a buzzing sound? I feel like I can hear something. I can see a little... I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's a whiny boy. I have a big problem where I'm very good at putting things in the washing machine, but I am terrible at, and, and I do sometimes then put it on the radiator, but normally about 72 hours later. So it does smell a little Stinks. bit. No, it doesn't I've stink. It just doesn't smell as good as it could. And then, oh my God, trying to put stuff away. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Things could sit on the radiator, I think, for at least three weeks if it was if i was living on my own like if you've got the sims laundry expansion there's just piles of clothes everywhere it's weird i actually paid it i paid 10 pounds to have 
the Sims laundry expansion. Whereas I could have actually have put my time and energy that I put into my Sims doing their washing into doing my own washing. As sometimes actually when I have to do things that like an adult does, like cleaning or cooking or tidying up, I try and pretend to myself that I'm a Sim to try and like gamify it so I'll do it because otherwise, otherwise I literally just won't do it. Also, I got reduced fat hummus, which is actually criminal. I don't know why I did that. It doesn't taste of anything. Also, I got these. I think they're out of date now. 6th of Feb, it's the 7th. <gasps> I got so many. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Basically, I wanted to start doing these every day. These Biomel Love Your Gut. Because um, they taste really nice and they're meant to be good for like your digestion and stuff and getting loads of what it, microbes or whatever into your body. Um, and I bought a pack thinking I'd have them every day and I've forgotten how they've run out of day. And oh my God. Me and my very clean screen and I'm going to watch the Sims. I've got my orange squash. I've got my wrap. I like playing Sims because... It lets me do all the things that I wish I could do in person, like sort my life out, climb the career, tidy. Like, it's so much easier doing it for someone else than it is for myself, so I think that's why I like it. What is this weird music? Hello, I'm sitting at my very messy desk trying to do some work, but I've been distracted by everything under the sun. So I started off like, okay, I'm going to concentrate. Then my friend Ali rang me and started asking me if I wanted a hat. Then I went on to TikTok and started diagnosing myself with every illness under the sun. Then, why did you actually come up here? Were you asking about that? And then I got an email through saying I, it was the last chance to book the hotel for my friend's wedding, which I didn't even know there was the first chance yet. So that was good. And then... We quickly check the flight, see what dates we used to put the hotel. And it turns out I've booked the wrong flights. I've booked us to fly a day before everyone else. So I'm actually going to get to the wedding, I think, before the bride and groom. And we were trying to work out, we don't know if that's bad etiquette or not, or what. So then I was like, it's fine, I'll just change the flights. Oh, no, you won't, because I just went to change the flights and that will cost £266. So instead of doing that, we're paying another £200 to stay an extra night. And then the transfer, because my friend's paying for us all to be transferred there very kindly, but obviously it's not going to happen when we're going to arrive on a different day. So now the transfer is also going to be about £110, which I have just written off and said that is just ADHD tax. I know that everything I do costs more because I am either overstimulated, I am overspending, or I am in the wrong place at the wrong time. Really pleased with myself. Like I said to Rory, like, do you not want to, like, you're not fuming. And he's just taking it on the chin like a real champ. <laughs> I'm definitely getting dumped soon. I don't want to manifest that. I need to actually get on with some work because I've digressed heavily. Let me show you how much I try and be organised. So I've got my laptop. I've then got a daily calendar. I also have then a weekly calendar. All of this planning is still absolutely... So, love that for me. Okay, some time has passed. I'm now in H&M because my brother's demanded I help him find some smart trousers. He's got a work event tomorrow and he can't shop for himself. His, oh, oh my God, I've got a bogey, it's embarrassing. His ex-girlfriend used to choose all his clothes because she was cool, but now he's single. He hasn't got anyone to tell him what he should wear. So he's just got bad fashion sense. He said he's here, but he's not. There he is. Hang on. What's up? Yeah. Great sister, am I? You're being such a great sister, even though you're now using me for your TikTok. Or you you're for using me for my fashion sense. No, I'm not. Yeah, what are you? Some jeans. Yeah, but why did I need to? Why did I need to come all the way here for you to get some jeans? I thought you needed to get out. I need to get. Doesn't it smell like some people? Not doesn't it smell like? Here? I'm in the bath. Oh, it really bothers me. The toilet is in the back. Of my, I look like I'm on the patio. What is this tiling? And also, why is it just look? In this bathroom, there's just a random mirror chilling there on the toilet. What were people looking at in that mirror? Like the shower is is there. What are you inspecting? I've never found use that mirror. I need to ask Rory if he's ever used that. Actually, I don't actually know if I want the answer to that. But I'm just lying in the bath. It's really hard for me. These kind of moments I have this downtime. I really just want to like reply to all the troll comments I get, but I know I'm not allowed. And I have a policy where Rory, he acts as my head of PR. And I, if I want to write a hate, no, sorry, not me writing a hate comment, Christ. If I want to reply to a hate comment, I have to run it past him and he either proves it or denies it. And most of the time he denies it. Um, when he's not there, so that's when I do it. I normally do it when I'm on the toilet. So if you ever leave me a hate comment I've put, and I've replied, it's probably when I'm 
on the toilet. I feel like the toilet has come up a lot in this vlog. I need to cut that out. I really wanted to be one of those girls that reads in the bar, but all I want to do is scroll on my phone. Oh well, no one's perfect, are they? Some really good news. I've just realized I don't actually have a towel in the bathroom because I put it in the wash and didn't tell myself that. So now I'm gonna have to dry myself with my joggers. Love that for me. I always think people do these intro these outros and they're like, oh my god, I forgot to finish, sorry guys, like blah blah blah. But like I don't think anyone actually cares that I finished, but that was the end. Please, please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I would really appreciate it. Even if you just think it's rubbish, please tell me so I then know what to do next time. Um, because I really want to do YouTube, obviously, because I love the sound of my own voice. Um, so yeah, let me know what you'd like to see more of, what you liked, what you didn't like. And then maybe just to boost my ego, your favourite thing about me. Okay, the last one's a joke. But you can if you want to. Okay, right. Bye.